Good evening there, fellow YouTubers and people of the internet. Cameron coming to you today or tonight from the wonderful city of Geelong in Victoria, Australia. And mentioning Geelong, what I wanted to do for you this evening is an unboxing of the new Geelong edition of the board game Monopoly. There's the box there. So, without any further ado, I will open it, and we'll take it from there. <coughs> okay, let's lift the lid off this thing. I bought this edition of Monopoly from Pop Culture in Geelong and one of the, I mean there's plenty of places in Geelong here that are selling this game but you know, I decided to go to Pop Culture <coughs> Excuse me So what I will do is just open up the board and I will go from go around the board this is what it looks like let's see if I can show you the whole thing I'll start from go and yeah take it from there so the two cheapest squares have been allocated the Yu Yangs and the Geelong Botanic Gardens. The first spot um, where a railway station would ordinarily be is McCary's Bus Lines. Then the pale blue squares after the first railway station is the Geelong Gallery, the Geelong Library and Heritage Centre and the Geelong Art Centre. You've then got the Jail Square. And... Hang on, let's turn this thing around. And you've got the sort of pinky, purpley maroon squares, which belong to 13th Beach Golf Links. Then you've got Geelong Race Course. And then home of the Geelong Cats. I don't know why they didn't just say Cadinia Park. Because that is the actual stadium. Oh yeah, the stadium's named by the sponsors, but you know, it's still Cadinia Park. Um where I think either the electricity electric works or the waterworks would go is Bell's Beach. That's in the middle of the pink squares. You've got Air Asia and another railway station square. Um, then the orange squares are Adventure Park, the Carousel, which is out there on the waterfront, and the Q train, which is the steam train that runs down along um, the Ballerine Peninsula. Free parking, which is a joke in Geelong. Actually, no, on the weekends, parking is free down here, but... Um, if you can get a spot, that's another matter. The um, red squares are allocated Westfield, Geelong, Cunningham Pier and Sailors Rest. Port Phillip Ferries take up another... <sighs> Sorry, just fumbling with this board here. Take up another railway station square. The yellow ones are Flying Brick, Sideco, Leisure Park Estate and Novotel, Geelong. Great Ocean Road takes either the electrical works or the waterworks. I can't remember what order they came in on the original Monopoly. I should have just have got an original Monopoly board first. Um, then there's the Go to Jail Square. And I missed the Jail one over there, but that doesn't matter. Um, the green squares are Deakin University, 
Cadenia International College and the Geelong College. Um, you've got Avalon Airport in another railway station square. There's plenty of railway stations in the Geelong, Greater Geelong area. I don't know why they're just in their railway stations. Um, and then you've got the Geelong Waterfront and Jack Rabbit Vineyard as the expensive squares, the traditionally Mayfair and or Park Lane, or I can't even remember those ones because I never played the original Monopoly. I used to play uh, the Australian edition. Um, you've got your property card, you know, when you purchase a property, you show that you're the owner. Um, the money. I probably should have should have read these, but um, there's some top trump cards here, or at least one top trump card. Don't know what that's doing there, but anyway, I probably should read the rules and have a look. But um, you've got houses which they look a lot smaller than um a traditional Monopoly board set of houses. Retrip pieces, the players' pieces. Uh, which consist of the thimble, the dog, which is my favourite one. Um the cat, which I believe is a relatively new one to Monopoly. The hat. The ship, um, the boot, ah, oh, this is a bit hard to show you, um, the car, and the wheelbarrow. So I suppose you know they, I think it replaced the iron, the cat. You know, I don't know why, <laughs> maybe it was sexist to have an iron, not sure. But, um, put those back in there. The hotels, or motels, whatever you prefer, I think they're called hotels. Um, and I'm just going to see if, um, if underneath. Now, that's, that's weird. I don't know if, uh, Community chest ones are, oh no, there we go. So community chest and chance cards must be in this deck here, along with the property cards. I was thinking for a minute there that maybe they would assigned um, top trumps. You had to get a top trump stick or something to to do community chest and chance, but that wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. Um, and the traditional two dice. So that's the Geelong edition of Monopoly. Um, very fast video. Oh, one thing I'll let you know is um, when I bought it from Pop Culture, they gave me a free Monopoly Man pop vinyl. There it is there. Um, when I went to buy it on Thursday, the day of the launch, the uh, 31st, um, they said, oh, they were launching the game down at the waterfront first. So it wasn't for sale at lunchtime when I went to buy it um, on Thursday. I had to wait till after 3pm that day. So I didn't get it that day. I got it on the Friday. And, yeah. But look, that is that. The Geelong edition of Monopoly. I must say, um, to be honest... You know, I'm not overly impressed. Um, I would have preferred this edition to have had street names, like Ryrie Street and Mallop Street, and, you know, just streets that are in Geelong. Maybe they could have had the street along the waterfront as, like, the expensive street. Um, yeah, and they, oh, I reckon they should have had the railway stations instead of something like Air Asia, which... You know, whether they'll continue to fly out of Avalon Airport, 
remains to be seen. Um, you know, a lot of Avalon Airport, you know, airline, the routes that go out of that airport seem to change by the minute. Um, yeah, so like I say, I would have preferred there to be um, street names, Rory Street, Gerringham Street, well, you know, maybe not. Um, Packington Street, they, they, I think they've missed an opportunity here. Really, the Yu Yangs are between um, Lara and Little River. They're not Geelong as such, in my opinion. Um, and you've got things down on the Ballerine Peninsula. This is more of a Geelong region. Um... Monopoly game, um, yeah, look, to be honest, um, I think, I think it's, you know, it's quite underwhelming, but anyway, look, it, it, it is what it is, it's, it's cool, I suppose, to have, live in a city that has its own edition of Monopoly, um, named after it, or however you want to say it, um, I've got the Melbourne edition of Monopoly as well. But yeah, look, I, I think they should have gone streets rather than just landmarks. And that's my opinion. Anyway, if, uh, if you've got the board game and you like it yourself or whatever you want to say, you know, maybe yeah, if, if you like the game, you like the idea, you know, drop a comment. Or if you don't like it, drop a comment. Um... I'll leave it up to you. Anyway, I'll say good goodbye for now, and you have a good evening, morning, day, or whatever it is. Thank you.